All right, mate. All right, mate. Pure para about getting spotted, man. Or a fleet o' mob after us. <laughs> well, the fleet o' mob don't drink in here, Gary, so you can probably take that big hood down. Got a lot more than me to worry about, man. Go keep my eyes peeled, no? Oh, there's no more chance of people spotting you when you're sitting in here with that big hood up. Oh, maybe, mate, maybe. <laughs> what happened to your hair? I was reading about that alopecia. I was pure paranoid about catching it, man, so I just shaved all my hair off. <laughs> Actually, I go put it back up. I'm too paranoid about getting called baldy. Hey, listen, I was just about to cut out for a fag. You want one? No, you don't wash your horns after you've been to the bog. <laughs> what? You touch your genitals and you touch your fags and you give me one of your fags and I've got gonorrhea and VD all over my lips, mate. Gary, I've not got VD or gonorrhea. Can you 100% guarantee that, mate? You've been tested, mate. You know I'm pure para about stuff like that. I don't need tested. I'm happily married to Susan, aren't I? She been tested. <laughs> Don't even go there, mate. Mate, mate, she's a nice lassie, but people sleep about. If it can happen to Cheryl Cole, mate, it can happen to you. <laughs> Cheryl's pure para as heading now, man. Mate. What, mate? See that lassie earlier in the corner with the brown hair? What about That's one of Pauline's pals for the work. And what? If Pauline finds out I was here with her, I'll be getting a third degree, man. Pauline's pure para about stuff like that. Gary, you're no one here with her, are you? Oh, mate, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It's no worth it. I'll need to create a diversion. Yeah. <laughs> Where are mate? Here? Yeah. Where are Johnny? <laughs> she looks like grass for a social. That's a camera. <laughs> Well, the financial reports are in. And I'm afraid things don't look good. Sales of the Iggy Biggy 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 B were much lower than projects. I honestly think the Iggy Biggy 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 B is a great product. We just need to get this whole Iggy Biggy 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 B thing into the public consciousness. Iggy Biggy 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 B. Will somebody please tell me why this isn't selling? <laughs> Perhaps we're aiming it at the wrong demographic. Instead of marketing the Iggy Biggy 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 Bee at young professionals and housewives, maybe we should be aiming it at kids. Ah. Now Jack and I took the liberty of doing some focus group tests with children. Hello, children. How would you like me to climb in through your window tonight and leave one of these under your sheets? It's really trendy and ticks a lot of boxes for our company. Here's Steve Regards to tell you all about it. Hello, members of the youth demographic. <laughs> this is the Iggy Biggy 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 Bee, a disruptive new product that converts the phrase Iggy Biggy 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 Bee into the phrase Oggy Boggy 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 Boo. You little girl, <laughs> would you like to interface with the product? Iggy Biggy. Iggy Biggy 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 Bee. Iggy Biggy Biggy. <laughs> Iggy biggy 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 bee. Say that. Iggy biggy bee. Iggy biggy 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 bee. Now you look here, missus. It costs a lot of money to assemble this focus group, so you're going to say Iggy biggy 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 bee. Iggy biggy bee. Biggy biggy. Iggy biggy 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 bee. Don't shout at her. Touch me again, Steve. Go on, I tell you. Iggy biggy 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 bee. Iggy biggy 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 bee! Ah! Fifty thousand pounds down the drain! God! Boggy 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 boo! The kids seem to love it. <laughs> what do you think? I think. I should have done this a long time ago! David, you can! Show him, Jack. Buggy, 
Well, I mean, I think the idea of a boxing gym being a place that is purely for hard young men to come and prove themselves is completely out of date. People come down here to learn how to box, yes, but people also come down here because it is an excellent way to get fit. Hitting a bag can be a great way to release stress. People come for the camaraderie. You know, if you're holding the bag or holding the mitts for someone, then, you know, there, there's a social aspect to it too. So there are many, many, many varied reasons for coming down to the boxing gym. So you all done? <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing! <laughs> All kinds of reasons. <laughs> Doberman man! I've got a city to protect, Superintendent. Burniston never sleeps. Make it quick. It's the tail twister. He's back in Burniston. And he's planning a bank heist. The tail twister? I've got bigger fish to fry than the tail twister. Who? My arch nemesis, Big Sonny Tolan's boy. Is that the guy that hassled you at school? Hassle me at school? He used to make me shag a pole in the school playground. <laughs> sure, it's embarrassing, but, you know, a bank heist. I put a dober bug on Big Sonny Tolan's boy's phone. I heard him gloating about his crimes. You can play it back on my eye dober. <laughs> Man. I was at school with that wee virgin. We used to make him dry ride a pole and all sorts. <laughs> Doberman man. Doberman man like. Yeah. Turn that off! All these years later and he's still telling people that I'm a virgin. My internal systems have analysed his speech patterns. And what did they tell you? He's a total dick in a heel. <laughs> Me and Big Sonny Tollins, boy, we go back a long way. He made me what I am. Him and his pals used to make me hump a pole in a school playground. <laughs> and I did, because I was scared. But that all changed the night a Doberman jumped through my bedroom window. <laughs> and I learned a very important thing. What? The wee dicks are a cowardly and superstitious bunch of wee dicks, and I hate them! Burniston has been a better place since that Doberman jumped through your window. I will not let wee dicks overrun this Burniston. No young man will get slagged off for being a virgin on my watch. You have my word. But what about the tail twister? Priorities. Just you remember, there's nothing wrong with being a virgin. <laughs> Did you say something when I left there? There isn't anything wrong with being a virgin. No, I didn't say a thing. <laughs> I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Crabby, my man, how long's it been? Oh, man, well, it must be, what, 10, 15 years? Oh, at least, man. What have you been up to? Oh, nothing, man. What? Nothing? No, no, really. What, <laughs> 15 years? Aye. But no one thing worth mentioning? No, nah, mate, no, really. No one thing? No one. Well, there must be one thing you've done in 15 years, mate. No, nah, mate, no. Right, just tell me one thing you've done. No, nah, mate. One thing? No, nah, mate, I've not done anything. Just tell me one thing. No, mate. Just tell me one thing you've done. No, I've not done anything in the last 15 years. Nothing. Just tell me one thing you've done. No. 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 
one and give to no. She tell me one and give to no. She tell me one and give to no. Anyway, mate, nice to see you again. Hi, brilliant <laughs> seeing you, man. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm not really into this. Well, you're no one to get in a dance after a beautiful lassie. Look at shop. What are we supposed to do here? Well, you're no impressing anybody with your nice sky routine, right? Just stare at the gorgeous half-naked lassie over there. This is awkward. Who are you trying to impress with this crap? Your main griot isn't here. If I write me man up, I'll get us a private dance. No, you won't. I am For 30 quid, we've got these gorgeous lassies riding about about one fit away for us. One fit? I don't know where to look. You'll look at whatever they shove into your face. <laughs> well, no perving, mate. They're dancing for us. They're dancing for the money, mate. No for us, for the money. Well, I want a dance. And I'm no sitting here getting a dance while you're sitting there hitting a beamer. So you're getting one and all. I don't want to. Look at that lassie. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that dancing lassie. No, I don't want to look. I don't like it. Look at her. <laughs> Look at that lassie. No. No, I don't like it. I don't want it. Oh, come on up. Be a man. Be a man. No. It's Leave me, it's distasteful! You're not tasting me, you're just look now! No, look at her! No! <laughs> Stare at that gorgeous, sexy lassie! <laughs> Bore your eyes right into the sexy body of that sexy lassie! Thank you! Oh. Come on! Ah, <laughs> oh, yes! What's the damage? Well, aggressive pal experience is 150 pounds, and the awkward scenario fetish role play was 80. Here's 250. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, as far as I see, we have two outstanding young candidates. Gail Park and Bruce... Is this the interview for the bank manager's job? Yes, we've just finished. You've not seen me yet. Were you on the list? No, I didn't even apply or anything, man. Are you one of our employees? Nope. Never worked in a bank in my life, but I'll tell you something. I've been watching all your interviewees out there, and do you know what? What? They're all dicks. <laughs> dicks? Dicks. A lot of them. I bet they came in here and they're giving it all turnover and profits and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Am I right? Well, exactly. Dicks. Here's what I would have done. <laughs> Boom! Cartwheel! Any of them dare that? Well, no. Huh? Any of them dare this? Look at the speed of these ones. Well, this boy's got something. It reminds me of myself when I wore those clothes. If we gave you the job, would you be willing to get your nose down and learn the banking trade? Nope, because banking is a bore. If either of you two came into my office and started yapping on about banking, I'd be like this. Dish! 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 That was... that was a real one. Watch, follow, bro. <laughs> this boy's outstanding. Son, the job's yours. You're the new manager of our Burniston East branch. Good move. Now, who's his boss? Well, I am. Cos I'll tell you what, big man, I want his job as well now, because he is also a dick. <laughs> Don't call me a... No, Bill, he's right. You are a dick. 
You're a dick and you're fired. <laughs> Come on, get out, you dick. Congratulations. You're the new head of Scottish operations. Thanks. You're fired. <laughs> no, no. You can't fire me. I'm your boss. How can you be my boss? Can you dare us? Hello, this is Brian Bluff, uh, uh, UK Operations Chief. Can I have a CEO on the phone, please? <laughs> is this a CEO? Can you do this? Murderers. This is our first appearance and the first time you will hear us. And when you all are 50, you'll remember this so clearly. When we were on your telly, before you had a belly, when life was still a voyage, and before you had a mortgage. And we're all dead now. The show we're on is Axe now, and all these girls are old cows. You're watching this on YouTube as you recall your youth. When music was amazing, when nights out were exciting, when sex was still surprising, possibilities were rising. But we're all dead now. But we're all dead now. You were our biggest fan then, you followed us all over And then you met some someone and you shagged them in your rover And rushed straight into marriage, they're the best you thought you'd manage And now you are a parent and your future's all but vanished And we're all dead now He died in 87, he hung himself in prison He died in 1993, a massive aneurysm and he died in his grubby flat, a poor forgotten junkie. And I died in an altercation with an escaped monkey. That's why we're all dead now. That's why we're all dead now. And soon you all will join us. And soon you all will join us. Inevitably join us. Inevitably join us. And soon you all will join us. And soon you all will join us. Inevitably join us. Coming soon to BBC Burniston. Action and adventure in Bonnet Catcher. A group of children wearing bonnets on their heads are being held hostage by a man wielding a powerful office fan. I'm gonna switch this on and blow their wee bonnets off their heads! <laughs> Slips. I want you to catch my bonnet. Forget about me. But you'll die. 
You are bonnet catcher. Catch my bonnet! I was your father, by the way. Don't see you in 15 years and twice in two days. That's the way I like it, eh? Aye. <laughs> so what were you doing last night? Ah, uh, nothing, man. <laughs> you must have done something, mate. Nah, mate. But you don't have to tell me anything interesting. Just tell me anything. Nah, I've not done anything, mate. Have you been to the toilet? Nah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours since I last saw you, you've not even been to the toilet? No. <laughs> Just tell me one thing you've done. 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 No. 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 One. No. One. No. One. No. One. No. One. No. One. No. I know it's mental seeing you again, man, two aye, days in a row. Aye, brilliant. <laughs> Just tell me one thing you've done. Oh. <laughs> Will you tell me where I'm going, Em? Um? I suppose I'll have to. You're going to Burniston, Bond. Burniston? That's where my first love was killed. I'll never forget you, Jackie. It was Kelly, wasn't it? Yes. I'll never forget you, Kelly. I'll leave you in Q's capable hands. Ignore her, Q. She's very cool. <laughs> what do you have for me? With you going to Bonnie, Scotland, 007, we've adapted some cultural items into gadgets for you. Take a look at this. It's a sausage supper. <laughs> Which is? Well, you would know it as sausage and chips, but in Scotland they call it a supper. Because they only have it at supper time. No, because they don't only have it at supper time. The Scots would eat things like this for breakfast. It's an ironic title. I see. And what does it do? Pick it up. <laughs> that pickled onion there. Give it a push. <laughs> now that fellow's had his chips. <laughs> Very funny. Let me show you this now, Bond. Do you know what that is? It looks like a plastic receptacle for fizzy pop. Hmm. It's a two-litre bottle of ginger. <laughs> but we filled it with an extra fizzy liquid. Which means? Put it under your bottom. <laughs> now unscrew that cap. Now, that was a gas. <laughs> very, very funny, Bon. <laughs> this is the last gadget we have for you today. It's a tin of shortbread, but no ordinary shortbread, Bond. For when you want to finish a mission in a hurry, just eat this shortbread, and every sentence you say will be very, very much shorter. When does... Right away. How long? For the rest of the day. You've really outdone. Thank you. Aren't you having... I think I will. <laughs> Who made? It was made... Your wife is... I'm a very lucky... Are you hooks? <laughs> Number two, sir. I think I'll... <laughs> it's... I... If... But... For... That's... Look... Not... She... Did... Only... <laughs> Here's 
mate. What was that? Fifteen twenty. Right, cool, mate. Uh, just, just a wee second, right? <laughs> Fifteen twenty. No, 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 no. It can't be. We counted it up. Fifteen twenty, mate. I was sure it was going to be under 15. I knew we were cutting it too fine. <laughs> no, stupid, 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 stupid. Are you sure you've no money? No change? Have you checked your pockets? I've already checked them. I've checked them. 15, 20, mate. This is a nightmare. What are we going to do? I don't know. This is unprecedented. I mean, I, we all joke about this happening, but it never happens. It never happens. <laughs> But now it has happened. It's happened, mate. We're down your rabbit hole now, mate. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why did we ever think 15 quid would be enough? There must be a 20 pence piece in this house somewhere. Mate, there has to be a tip as well, Ronnie. It's not just about a 20 pence. There's going to be a tip as well. Calm down. We need a tip as well, mate. Calm down. <laughs> enough. We will turn this house upside down if we have to. We will find change in here. If it kills us. Be there's no money in here. <laughs> Come on, man up. Come on, man up. Up, up, up. I can't. I don't think now. Stupid 15 quid. Stupid 15 quid. Can't even buy a couple of guys their dinner. I'm going to tell us something. I'm going to tell us no, Stevie. That has to be done, Ronnie. You did me! You did me! What have you done to us? I knew it, man. I knew something bad was going to happen to me. You finished us! <laughs> we should never have hold of you! We should never have hold of you! Sounds like a good party you're having. By the way, did I say 15 20? It's only 14 20. <laughs> We're playing a question of sports next here on BBC One Scotland.